Rebecca Sedra Crenshaw, um, only someone who is grooming a child for sex would put pornographic, sexually graphic, obscene, vulgar material in the hands of a minor child. That's not diversity, that's child abuse. And let's also think about all of the special needs students uh, in the schools who are in no way are prepared socially and emotionally to deal with this type of material. I think someone mentioned, you know, what if someone, uh, what if a kid checks out one of these books and, you know, they pass it to a friend? You know, kids are prone to do things like that. Okay, so we have to think about all the kids, including our special needs kids. You know, I filled out one of those forms, request for reconsideration 6.230. I sent it to all the principals and the, the librarians. Miss uh, Principal Santee got back to me, but she told me I'd have to read this material in full in order for my uh, complaint to be considered. Now, I'm going to read to you what I, what I wrote to her. I'm not going to do that. That goes against my religion, and I have a First Amendment right to practice my religion, which includes not consuming obscene or pornographic material. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told the policy committee, and no one here can force me to do that. Uh, you, she cited the language at the top of that form. That language needs to be removed. No one should, should have to read all of that material uh, if it goes against their conscience or their religion. However, Ms. Santee, she did not have a problem with a building principal or librarian uh, breaking the law, the Children's Internet Protection Act, which you cite in your materials, as well as at least four board policies, 7310, 825, 910, 910, AP3, which prevented the librarians and the principals from purchasing this obscene material in the first place. Those purchases on the face were illegal. And I asked her some questions. Has she and the librarians, have they read this material in its entirety? Have you on the board, have you read this material? If so, why did they purchase these books? If not, when do they plan to do so? Uh, does the district filter this type of material on the iPads under SIPA, the Children's Internet Protection Act? Could you post these photographs on the website or the excerpts? Could you post it in, on the walls in this school? And again, what is your written justification for permitting this material to be purchased, distributed, and accessed by students in this district, knowing it violates policy and the law? And, and I think many parents here tonight and concerned people, they've called for action. We're, we don't want to do this back and forth. We want action on this. I think that's, that's reasonable. Are we going to get some action on this? I think the, the community deserves that. Thank you. Thank you.